Hey guys, so the HTC One Max, which is rumored to be HTC's Galaxy Note 3 and uh, it's an Xperia C Ultra competitor. So Sony has their new Xperia C Ultra, which is their big phone. And, and of course, Samsung has been doing their Galaxy Note series now for a few years. So uh, this thing, we were rumored to see this at the IFA event along with the Galaxy uh, Note 3 uh, when they unveiled that one, Samsung, and then also Sony unveiled the Xperia Z1, but we didn't. But it seems that this one, apparently, maybe they will have a separate event for this, because it really seems to be real, because we get more and more pictures of it. Uh, of course, you can fake pictures, but uh, this doesn't look fake. Uh, but then, of course, with low resolution shots, who knows, who knows, who knows. Uh, but you can see here that, the, in general, use, it's a big HTC One. 2.3 years quad core rumored to have Snapdragon 800, same as Note 3 and Xperia Z Ultra. Uh, it's gonna have a size, uh, apparently, if this is the real deal, a uh, 5.9 inch display, uh, which means that it's gonna be between the uh, Xperia Z Ultra and the Galaxy Note 3. The Galaxy Note 3 is going to be the smallest of the ones and probably the one that's going to be easiest to hold in our fan because Samsung has a pretty, they don't have speakers on the front side Samsung so they can produce a pretty small uh, small phone. While HTC One, uh, HTC Allure, the HTC One flagship device was a big phone uh, because you did only just get a 4.7 inch display or something. Uh, and it was a little bit weird, I think. But uh, this one's probably going to be kind of hard to hold. Uh, it might be almost as big as the Xperia Z Ultra, which has a way bigger display. Uh, because I, HTC makes fat phones in terms of form factor. But uh, we'll see if this is the real stuff uh, in a few days or yeah, a few days uh, up to weeks. 1080p Super LCD 3, probably the same as the HTC One. 3200 or 3300 milliamps, which is not going to be super impressive because the smaller Galaxy Note 3 or, or, or yeah, that one is going to have 3200 milliamp and that one's probably easier to maneuver because it has a little bit smaller display. 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal though instead of 32 gigabytes uh, that the HTC One comes along with. Uh, so. Uh, the Galaxy Note 3 uh, has 32 gigabytes internal, uh, but that one seems to be getting a price bump um, compared to last year's uh, Galaxy Note uh, series, and also the iPhone uh, seem to have this uh, kind of price bump uh, with the new iPhone 5S in uh, many regions. So we'll see here if this one's going to be very expensive or cheaper. Uh, we just have to wait and find that out. And then we have another picture here, which is also showing the fingerprint scanner on the back. Uh, Apple was first here, uh, at least on these new modern phones, uh, with the fingerprint scanner uh, on the front side on the home button so you can make payments with it. It's going to be interesting to see here if HTC also will have a fingerprint scanner uh, on the final edition. Uh, so um, we just have to wait and see.